Unboxing and Installation Packing List Laser Box Smart Smoke Purifier Smoke Exhaust Pipes Pipe Clamps Power Cord Aviation Connector USB Cable User Manual Use the Aviation Connector to connect the Smart Smoke Purifier and Laser Box Use a pipe clamp to fix one end of the short smoke exhaust pipe to laser box. Use another pipe clamp to fix the other end of the pipe to the upper inlet of the smart smoke purifier. Use the last pipe clamp to fix one end of the long smoke exhaust pipe to the lower outlet of the smart smoke purifier. and place the other end at the window. Connect the laser box with the power cord. Press the button on laser box to power it on. Device connection and first use. Connect the laser box to your computer with a USB cable or network cable. Run the laser box software. Click connect to a new laser box and select the corresponding options to complete the connection. You can also connect LaserBox to the computer via Wi-Fi. For the initial Wi-Fi connection, use a USB cable or network cable to connect the LaserBox and the computer. Ensure the computer is connected to Wi-Fi. Connect LaserBox to the same Wi-Fi and enter the correct username and password to the complete connection. Unplug the USB cable or network cable after the device is successfully connected. To connect LaserBox to another computer, ensure that the computer has joined the same Wi-Fi network. Then click Connect to a networked LaserBox in the LaserBox software to search for and connect to nearby devices. Through Wi-Fi connection, LaserBox can be connected to up to 40 computers. Ensure that the device is connected. Choose a piece of material and put it into LaserBox. Equipped with the 5MP ultra wide angle camera, LaserBox can recognize the circular barcode on the material and automatically set the appropriate parameters for subsequent cutting and engraving. Importing local files or using the samples listed in our course case are allowed. By default, purple lines are for cutting and orange lines are for engraving. Adjust the cutting and engraving areas and parameters in the settings panel on the right side. If no adjustment is required, drag and drop to change the image's size and position. Click the start icon at the top right corner in the software interface, and the drop duration will be displayed. Click the track preview icon to check the cutting or engraving track. Click send. The button LED on laser box will flash blue. Press the button to start cutting or engraving. You can check the real-time job progress in the LaserBox software interface. To pause the current job, you can click the pause icon in the software interface or press the button on LaserBox or open the lid of LaserBox. To resume the current job, click the continue icon in the software interface or press the button on LaserBox or close the lid of laser box and press the button. When the job is paused, click the cancel icon in the software interface, or open the lid of laser box and long press the button for 5 seconds to cancel the current job. When the button LED on laser box turns green, the current job is completed. If there is any deviation from the planned cutting engraving track, Go to Software Interface, Device Setting, Advanced, Image Correction, Cover the Working Area of LaserBox with three pieces of A4 paper according to the prompts. Close the lid and press the button on LaserBox to start automatic collaboration. LaserBox can process various materials. If you often use uncertified materials, you can unfold the drop-down list at the top of the working interface to set up a parameter library by adding commonly used materials. The next time you use the same material, you can quickly find the appropriate parameters for cutting or engraving. That's all. Thanks for watching.